Hi guys, welcome to Surup Ki Rasoi. Today I'm going to make some dry stuffed bindi bhaji. Bindi is also known as lady's finger. It is a recipe which I've been making for years and is a favorite with my family. Hope you enjoy it. If you like my recipe, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. one packet of bhindi and wash it and dry it thoroughly it's very important to have it dry otherwise the bhaji will become sticky cut off the top and the tail part of the bhindi as shown put a slit into it on one side make sure the slit is not too deep and it cuts it completely cut it into pieces of 2 to 3 inches sizes alternately you can first Cut the bindi and then put the slits if you desire. Repeat the process with the, all the bindi you have and keep it ready before you start making the bhaji. To make the stuffing, finely chop 3 cloves of garlic, add 1 teaspoon each of garam and fennel seeds to it. Add 4 heaped tablespoons of gram flour followed by one teaspoon each of salt, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, chili powder, and two teaspoons of oil. Mix it all thoroughly and squeeze one fourth of a lemon into it. Mix thoroughly and keep it ready to stuff the bindi. To fill the bindi, take individual piece in your hand take a little of the filling in your hand and put it inside the slit you have made press it with your finger to get a tight fit if you do not press it well there will be less filling and the taste will not be so good make sure you keep your hands over the filling bowl as otherwise you will be spoiling the whole work surface Repeat it with each individual piece, keeping it to one side so that you know which ones are not being filled. Complete the full um, step. You will have some leftover filling. Do not worry about it. It can be reused later. Three tablespoons of sunflower oil in a pan. Add one teaspoon of mustard seeds and cook covered till they start spluttering then add one teaspoon of cumin seeds when the spluttering stops add the stuffed bindi that you have prepared and kept ready mix it well and cook covered on slow flame wash two sprigs of curry leaves and add it to the cooking bindi mix it well and again cook covered on slow flame when the bindi has got soft and the color has changed evenly all over it is good cooked at this stage add the leftover stuffing which you have 
cover and cook for further two to three minutes. Then mix it well again, ensuring that the stuffing and the bindi is well mixed. Transfer it onto a serving plate. Garnish with coriander leaves. Squeeze about one fourth of lemon juice on it and enjoy the dish. It can be eaten with rice or any of the Indian breads. It can also be eaten on its own if it's not too spicy.